Hey, man, you're up early today. You got to move quick now. Paul is from the old school in a lot of ways, who's one of the greatest drummers in modern jazz, in the history of the music, really. He's worked with Bill Evans, Paul Blake, Keith Jarrett, Chick Corea, Jerry Allen, Thelonious Monk, and he played at Woodstock with Arlo Guthrie. The first time I heard Paul, the first thing you hear is that this guy is completely authentic. That's not something that you can learn. That's just something you are. What I like about Paul is he doesn't use younger people to make himself more noticeable. He stays in the back and he pushes them in front. He opens up the feeling in the music and sustains a mood throughout that uh, is, is just so personal and beautiful. Paul is an old master at this point. You know, Paul always sounds to me like one of those musicians who understands what are the most essential elements of the music that he's playing. The first time I played with Paul, it was amazing. It's just his mind. You know, he's thought about music and life. And so nobody can cope it. He's got a really strong, uplifting energy. Obviously in the music, but also as a person, he's about lifting things up. Then I woke up in the morning, I thought it was an old folks home. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he lets the drums play themselves. One time I remember we were playing in this place with a bass player named Al Cotton. The three of us were playing and uh, it was kind of boring. Nothing much was happening. So the bass player, Al, he said, hey man, let's all just drop our pants and play. Pants are down by the ankles and we played, boy, that music was swinging like a muck. <laughs> I was lucky. I feel I was lucky. It's at the right place at the right time.